This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. What is happening everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I want to talk to you guys about expressions and how you can use expressions for creating better quality templates. So that if you are into creating templates and putting them on sale on VideoHive or any other marketplaces, you can do that a bit better and you know get some more sales. So I recently did my 99 kinetic titles pack, uh, you know, and I put it on sale on VideoHive. And it got some very good reviews. I got, you know, five star ratings. Uh, I got 25 sales. And one of the important USPs and highlights of my product is that you can uh, manipulate and adjust the position of the text layers so that if you feel that something is a little off, you can adjust them using these slider controls, right? So, for example, if uh, you animate or if you decide to work with this design and you feel that, you know, 99 should be a little towards the left or this is supposed to be towards the right or that is supposed to be there, you can do that without affecting the animation. Right. So this is something that, in my opinion, others do not offer and my kinetic template has this. Also awesome people, if you like to support my channel, if you like to support me and if you want me to make more tutorials, please consider buying this and, uh, you know, supporting my channel like that. But with that being said, let's get started. So. Uh, again, my point is that we have an already animated, uh, you know, design. So, for example, we have this to, you know, choose from, right? But if I want to, you know, if I want this choose to be little towards the right, how am I supposed to do that without destroying the animation, right? And uh, let's answer this in today's episode. So, I've created my composition. I'm going to take my type tool. I'm going to type something very random here. So, I'm going to type in motion designer. And look at that font. That font is a good font actually, but it doesn't work in this case. I'm gonna change it to lobster, All right? Oops, motion designer, All right? And you know, usually if you would want to animate position, uh, what you would do is you would select the, uh, the text layer, hit the P key, and animate this position, right? Now you could also pre-comp this so that it, it becomes editable and this is sort of like a template, but I'm gonna skip to the straight technique. So, you know, you would animate the position like this, right? And in my opinion, this is not the best way to animate position. Let me actually show you a different way. And I'm gonna open up the text layer. I'm gonna go to animate and there's gonna be a position here. So I'm gonna take that. And this way, what we have done is that we have added an animator to the text layer basically giving this text layer two different position properties. So there's one position here and then there is one position in the transform property right there. So I'm going to use the animator's position for animating the text layer. So for example, I'll push it down, all right? I'll go to the range selector and I'll animate the end over here in time to two, two, two seconds, push it to zero and maybe I'll move in just a bit. If I play this, you would see we get this animation, right? But you can also see that our other animation is not affected, right? There is no keyframes there. So I can move this around without my animation being affected, all right? If I play this full thing, you can see the full animation is definitely there. Uh, you can go into the advanced category and you can ease this, right? Add some more effects as per your liking. But that is basically how this works. Now, awesome people, uh, we can create a new adjustment layer, or you can even go for a null object. I usually go for the null object. I'm gonna rename this to controller. And this is something that we are even adding to all the free templates that we give out on YouTube. So, uh, you know, you can study this by downloading one of our templates and, you know, opening it and seeing what we have added there. But again, guys, if you feel that the channel is helping you in any way, please consider buying one of our templates from VideoHive. It's going to help us a lot and it's going to help me create more tutorials for you guys. Anyways, I'm going to go to controller and I'm going to go to um, expression controls and there's going to be uh, an effect called slider control. Apply it to the controller here. And now, awesome people, I'm going to hit the P key on the keyboard, right? 
to reveal the position I'm gonna alt click on the position or on the stopwatch and now we will basically create two variables okay now depending on what kind of layer it is if it's a flat layer then you're gonna create two variables if it's a 3d layer then you'll create three variables but I'm gonna keep this 2d and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call x equals something y equals something and then square bracket x comma y close bracket and that's it now I'm gonna get an error because I didn't actually enter anything but that's okay and the problem why is that I've only added one slider control so you basically need two slider controls so I'll take one drag and drop it right there that's what we want I'm gonna rename this effect to X position and what I like to do is instead of creating it like this I like to name it um, position left and right right I could use this and left and right and position up and down right and now awesome people we're gonna select this we're gonna take the X we're gonna apply it or we'll attach it to the slider control over here add the semicolon at the end we'll go to the Y Add it right there semicolon at the end and now if we let go you'll see that it definitely works since the value of both of these was zero zero our position automatically changed to zero zero so we can use this for moving things around right we can push it right there right and if you play this you will see the animation is not being affected at all right so that is one very simple video but it's a very useful video because you know I have added this into position uh, my one of my I think a review was if I'm not wrong let me see if I go to reviews said that this was very useful to her yeah and uh, you know that I helped out uh, her, you know her with some questions and uh, she particularly liked this thing where you know there are strata controls and everything like that so you know this is going to help you out a lot i have also included this feature in my 100 titles pack which is again doing really good on video hive very happy about that and uh, this is you know this could be one of the reasons why people like it so much because the ui and the controller is very easy to you know to use Right, makes your work a lot easier. E even if a professional user buys it, you know, the because of these controllers, the moving around part is very, very simple. Right, and it's gonna appreciate that. So that was my one simple video on how to create a simple uh, X and Y position control in Adobe After Effects. My name is CJ Style. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is not, you know, a very advanced technique sort of tutorial, but these are important videos, guys. Please watch them. And again, I hope you did. And I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. My name is CJ Styles. See you all next time. Take care everyone.